like a wall. Oh. Hey guys, this is um. What's it called? Robin or something. Robin. 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 And this is my first time having ramen. What the? I'm gonna be like Naruto. I think you have to eat this cool, right? Um, oh yeah, sorry. I don't fucking know. I wanna taste the soup. I never watched Naruto. Oh, actually, no, I taste the soup. Just the soup. Yeah, the soup's good. Fuck, that's hot pot. Mine's warm. The soup is good. It would be good if I didn't fucking burn my mouth. Oh, yeah, it's actually really good. Fucking hot. You know what? That's actually quality. My name is chicken. They got this weird Naruto fucking dog. The Naruto thing. <laughs> it actually tastes like Naruto, you feel me? I wouldn't know what Naruto tastes like. I wouldn't mind though. Okay. <laughs> you can tell the camera. Um, Well, I'm studying 3D animation for adult industry stuff. You can look at the camera, don't look at me. You're in the middle of where I am. Fuck, I hate looking at my face. Sorry, we're doing the mock face. Remember, how long ago was the last video that I was featured in? That was the music video? Three years ago, Grandpa. Three years ago? You know, <clears throat> people think I'm genuinely gay because of that video. <laughs> <laughs> we did do a video on the KFC slab, but um, for some unfortunate events, my phone's videos got deleted, so a very sad time. It is a sad time, brother. You know what's fucking sad? The fact that I can't eat with this. That's pretty sad. Just a pork. I bet it's actually really good. Yeah, fucking earth it is. What was it? Pork what? Pork. I'm pretty sure we got fried chicken. Yeah, but the, the soup base. Oh, it was, yeah. It was the soup base is um pork, I think. It was called something else, though. But I don't know the fucking word. Pork something. There's some combo of work. The chicken's good. The chicken is very good. This is the chicken, guys. It's uh, quality chicken. Quality chicken. Yeah. Oh, they got every sauce in the world over there, don't they? Do you want a water? I don't think I'm mock bad material though. What do you even talk about in a mock bad? I think you talk I don't know, I never watched one. <laughs> they talk about crime and stuff like that. And like conspiracy theories. Oh, conspiracy theories? Yeah, what have you got any conspiracy theories? I reckon the Aboriginal a a <laughs> the Aboriginal referendum? I reckon that's a tax excuse. That's my government conspiracy. I reckon Can you the, go into detail? I reckon the government's taken advantage of the fact that people care about Aboriginals. Yeah. So that they can But like why is it how is it affecting your life? I don't know. I've never looked into the referendum. Yeah, but like why do you feel like they're more privileged than other people? Do the Abos. Yeah. <laughs> I never said they're more privileged. Yes, you basically did. They're more privileged in the sense they get more fucking Centrelink bonuses. Mm. But something that affected like their great great grandparents. But do you also think it's other other religion? No, not like country people as well. Like not just Aboriginals. Do you think? Oh yeah, most people would just come off the boat. 
just for Centrelink. That's not very cool. Mm. I remember I had a neighbor. Yeah. What match was it? Oh, they were from they're Indian or something. Yeah. And fuck, bro. They, I remember I overheard them yelling and complaining. They were crying about how like one of the one of them wasn't abusing the Centrelink system mm. and wanted to get a job instead. Yeah. yeah. Because it does pay good, like, if you have, like, what, four people on Centrelink, it's like, what do you get, 400 in Fortnite? Yeah. It adds I think up. it's like 460, but it's still, you know, equivalent. Like, yeah, whatever, whatever it is. It adds up if you're getting a house with four people or more. The guys next to, the people next to us, they um, are looking at our camera and laughing, guys. What do you mean, it's fucking embarrassing, Jordan? No, I do. It's just it causes attention. I don't give a fuck. I'm out here saying I don't give a fuck about the Aboriginal referendum. You know what's fucked? I'm forced to vote. I didn't even register the vote. Guys, I am forced to vote as well. I didn't even enroll myself, and they fucking enrolled me. See, that's that bad. I got a letter in the in the mail saying that I have to vote now. You don't, don't you think it's weird they bring up bring it up like the Aboriginal referendum and then they force you to vote? What happened to voting? Did you, what did you did you um, vote this last year? Like end of last year? I never voted. I never registered. Well, next year or coming? Do we have to vote this year? I think that's already passed, isn't it? I think we anyway, have to vote on whatever they have. Anyway, next year when I have to vote, I'm just gonna vote for whatever because I don't I don't give a fuck. Right. I'm gonna vote for like. I legalized marijuana in life. Oh, oh, yeah. like, you know, Simeon did that. <laughs> yeah. He registered the vote just to vote for the guy that said legalize everything that's like wrong. <laughs> he didn't even vote for an actual party. I didn't get. I didn't get politics and all that shit. There's no point in third parties because like they're just gonna disregard your vote anyway. They never win anyway. So it's like, what's the fucking point? And, you know what's fucked though? Yeah. I don't know. That's cracked up. Sorry guys, sorry everyone. I think you gotta be more loud. Ah, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> you have to be like... Wait, give me a sec, give me a sec. I can fuck you. You have to like grab a big fucking chunk of it. Oh my god, it's actually got the top six down pack now, guys. Alright. You look at the camera. And you go. Mm. That's how you enjoy your ramen right there. What do you rate it? Because we've never, I haven't, I've never had ramen before. I think it's actually good that way. We're trying something new because every time we go to eat, it's always KFC. It's always your generic white guy stuff. Hungry Jack, shout out to Matthew. <laughs> you know, shout only, out to Whopper, bro. <laughs> it's the one who works at Hungry Jack's. He's never shouted us once. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. No, I mean, like Hungry Jack's food. Oh, yeah. Fuck, bro. Like, I remember one time, remember when we went with Simeon to Hungry Jack's, I shouted Matthew, Matthew Cerides, and Chicken Royal Burger because he was like, oh, no, I just want some chips. And he, we knew, bro, was hungry. I knew bro was hungry, so I got him a chicken royale. You know, I and apparently he loves chicken royals, but he said to me the other day that chicken and cheese from McDonald's is the best. Did he actually say that? Mm -hmm. What a fuck was that? Hey, I like the chicken and cheese from McDonald's. I think it's alright, but like, fuck, bro. You get sick off eating like two of them in a row. Oh, gosh, this is making me feel sick. I'm not feeling sick, but probably because I'm taking my fucking time. I got a regular though, you got a large. Ugh. You want a drink? I feel like you need a drink. Nah, no, like but the soup is a drink. Drink it like a drink, man. I'll drink You want to drink it like a drink? What? Have you not watched Naruto? You drink it last or something? <sighs> Actually, I don't know. I never watched Naruto. I need a drink. I'm gonna leave you with a camera. Oh, so I'm solo commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
know. It's back. You know? What is it? Once when I was in high school, you wouldn't believe it, but. Man, I got violated in high school. Oh, you're back already. Fuck, oh, bro. Oh, I'm back. You know, remember that time? Went to Parramatta Lake, was it? Parramatta Lake, yeah. Or was that River? Time. Yeah. Remember we, when we see, when we saw Steve Irwin or Randy Orton? It in was the Randy water? Orton in the water, man. Yeah, it was Randy Orton. That was scary. Man. It actually made me jump. <laughs> well, that was crack up, bro. I don't know where, like, man's talking about Randy Orton and fucking pops out of the fucking river, bro. I think I, think I left in Wait, the Wait, can we, we will insert the clip. Can we in, oh, have you got the clip? No, we don't. I think I still do, actually. If we do, we insert the clip here, okay? I think, I think I left it in, I think it's still on my computer from when we were in high school. Because oh. we filmed it as a, it's a year 11? A year 11 project. I don't know, no, year 10. We went in the same class in year 10. Because we had, I joined multimedia in year 11. Oh, but then it must have been year 11. Because Otacon had a goal me for picking all the um, non ATAR classes. So I switched to multimedia because it said it's fucking great, bro. Oh. <sighs> you know what? Oh. I wonder why anyone would want to watch me eat. Like, look at me. It's not the fact that I'm like watching somebody eat, it's just the fact that I'm talking like normal human beings. You know? I'm not a normal human being. You know what I believe in? I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But, you know, there's one thing I learned off anyone. I realized how cringe I used to be in high school. This you know, guy used to do giveaways for an Opal card, guys. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I never did the giveaway. So you're, he's a confirmed scam artist. <laughs> 2023. I was going to give it to someone. <laughs> but Oh, the fidget spinner. Oh, the fidget spinner actually did give that away. Mm. Do you know who? Yeah, you I remember? get it. It was a rotted system. I gave it to this guy. You know that fucking little duck I put in the videos? Oh. That is, doesn't he have his own YouTube channel? Yeah, that, that's yeah, who yeah, I yeah. gave it to. Do you know him out real? Yeah. Did he go to our school? Nah, he never went to our school. Right? <laughs> actually, no, I think I gave it to a random kid at school, actually. Che uh, cheeky Ducks. No, I gave it to someone at school. Why are you lying? So I thought I... No, I never gave it to him. I, that was my lullaby, uh, my alibi. If anyone asks who I gave it to. Yeah. But I just gave it to someone. I think I gave it to... Tommy? Tommy. Tommy didn't fuck with school. Tommy's a bogan, by the way. Tommy's not a bogan, bro. Tommy's a sexy islander, bro. Uh, like, James is, uh, he's had a glow up. James, James had a glow down, bro. You serious? Yeah, bro. Yeah. He's a lot taller now than he was before. I would fuck Tommy over James every day of the week. Yeah, that's true. I would too. <laughs> <laughs> but... Like, like, you don't understand, bro. Tommy is, like, he's a sexy man, bro. Like, like, I know, but he needs to get a girlfriend. I haven't even, I've never seen him with a girl before. You know what's funny? He's really sexy, but he's got no missus. I think we should put a photo of him. I don't, <laughs> I don't even think he talks to any girls. I think he's like Matthew. Matthew is sexy as fuck, and Matthew just doesn't care. He just doesn't. Yeah. I hope Matthew watches this. <laughs> I hope we upload the video. <laughs> After we finish, we'll edit this video and put the two clips together and then we'll upload it. 
fuck the customer. This is a trade world video. I just hope the audio is good because if the audio is like dumb shit, I'm okay. sorry. We'll add subtitles, yeah? Yeah, that means you have to listen to it and then they actually add the one by one. Yeah. I think one day, you know what I hope to be? <clears throat> I hope to be like one of those bludging times. You just like, you have so much passive income that I can just sit on my ass and do nothing. What? What? You remember back in primary school and the teachers asked, well, I don't know if it was the same as you, but back in primary school, the teachers asked what you wanted to be when you grew up. Oh. Let, me, let me go first. <laughs> I love this shit. Um, I actually wanted to be a firefighter and a professional soccer player. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh no, it was a firefighter? I, mean, I, had, I, had, I had to choose between three. It was a firefighter, police officer, and a professional soccer player. I hate soccer now. Soccer's for gay people, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, soccer's for bad people. <laughs> hey, I love gay people. Shout out to the LGBTQ plus, um, what's the rest? T, transgender. It's Q, I or something. Um, artificial intelligence, shout out to them. <laughs> um, but, I don't know. I support all gays. I don't. I'm I base it on their personality. He does. He does. I don't base also, it. Also, we got a we got a couple of followers, guys. <laughs> followers. <laughs> no one would give a fuck, bro. Oh. You know, you know who I miss. I tell you, I oh, wait, yeah. you. Tell no, go, go with your story. I forgot that you were talking about what you wanted to be. Oh yeah. Well, I said what I wanted to be. I said I wanted to be a firefighter, police officer, or a professional soccer player. Or guess what, guys? I um, I'm not any of that. What am I? You're a council worker. Council worker. Man, man sounds like fucking uh, Bruce from Finding Nemo when he's on the council. Yeah, don't make me <laughs> put that voice impression on. You know, when I had to do that, every time I always answered, I said, I don't know, but I'm probably going to be a homeless person. And then every time I said that, I got sent to the counselor. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'll tell you a story. Back in high school, at Arthur Phillip High School, there used to be this counselor named Paul. Do you remember Paul the counselor? He said to me, I told him some personal information, and he called my sister. He said to me, he goes, I won't call your parents, I won't call your guardian. And that motherfucker snitched. I forgot what it was, but he snitched on me. But that's every counselor, brother. They're always, they're always like, it's confidential. It'll stay between us. The moment you say anything, they write it out to the... Somehow the teachers know about it. They use it against you. I know. You know, one time... <laughs> you know, one time I, I don't know. I, I used this excuse saying that my cousin died or something. Just yeah. to get out of class. Bro. Yeah. And then he I got sent to the counselor by Mr. Sam. You know Mr. Sam, the Samoan guy? No, I don't oh, know. Anyway. Oh, he was the guy in the support unit? You know? Yeah, yeah, that like, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and... Anyway, um, I got sent to the counselor, and it, all these teachers started to like say, "Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Like, I'm so sorry for your cousin to die." Like, how the fuck does this teacher know? It's like the word spreads around. Like, I don't know. Bro, you know why? Because they hear this shit and they go around and they gossip about it in the fucking teachers' lab. Like, you know, if they shoot some giggles, I told them that I was a closet gay, and all of a sudden, all the teachers thought I was gay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It was in year 12, but I had to write Okay, away. okay, okay, so I want to tell you guys a story, actually, really, you got to explain the story, because... It, wait, wait, I want to tell them the gay story of me too. <laughs> 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 this is the best story ever. Okay, I had PE one time. Oh! <laughs> I'm talking about that story. Um, I don't know if I had, I had, P, I don't know if it was even me or you. I think we both had it. I think we both had PE. PE is like sports um and we're playing basketball and i sat down and really <laughs> you can tell the rest bro i was sitting there minding my own business just watching and i'm sorry yeah i think i was i think i was playing my phone or something this i guy, think he was watching youtube on his phone yeah this yeah. guy comes and he sits next to me and he's like because i didn't know him at the time that well he was like and then when, after you tell the story we'll explain how we actually met in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> bro this guy said to me he's like you know, I like you. I was like, oh, that's cool, bro. And then he was like, what did you say? He was like, you know, I don't I like you that way. I had a crush on you. I had you a crush on you, yeah. For a long time. And I felt really <laughs> bad for some reason. So I was like, nah, bro. I don't go that way, bro. 
Bro, man was so convincing. I genuinely thought he was good. Because <laughs> I tried to like act like I was crying too. I put my head, like my hands in my lap, like covering my eyes. Bro, man had the like most sincere tone in his voice. Yeah, it was a, it was funnier if you were there. It would have been more funnier than explaining it now. But yeah, because the first time I met him, it gave me those kind of vibes. <laughs> <laughs> because how we met the first time was actually, I I showed this guy my nutsack. I'm not even kidding. Like at school, I think it was during recess time. It was like year ten. Yeah, year ten or something, and I showed him my nutsack. It was funny because like Tommy. Tommy came up. Tommy is the guy that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, the sexy guy. Yeah. Bro, he was like, you won't believe it, bro. This guy's got the biggest nuts. <laughs> but realistically, guys, I don't have the biggest nuts, okay? I, there's a trick that you can actually <laughs> make that your nuts, your nuts, if you like pinch your nuts like this, <laughs> you can make your nuts like this bigger. Alright? Oh, um, but it's, it is what it is. But, you know, we've had some, we've had some great stories together. Um, for you that I don't know, one time, um, it was five minutes towards the bell end. Oh. <laughs> and I want, you to st- I want you to tell the story about what the principal said after the next day. Oh yeah, we got caught for jumping the gate. Okay, leave. so there's a gate that you can, uh, you can climb over to just the jig school, like go out of school because you can't actually just walk out the gate. Yeah, because the thing was, when you finish, they would line like hundreds of kids up. And sometimes you'd leave school like 40, like 40 minutes after the bell went. Because mm. the teacher wanted to check your socks or some shit. To anyway, see. William needed to take a shit, right? He, I don't know if it was realistically or he just wanted to go. I think, yeah, I think we're bored. We just said, fuck it, let's yeah, just leave. Anyway, and we jumped the fence last minute. And keep in mind, there's a camera right on the fence. <laughs> yeah, that was like, <laughs> really, I jumped it so many times, I never got Me a proper too. ball. And you know, Bo's jumped it like Yeah, Bo's jumped times. it like heaps of times. Yeah, but... Yeah, we got caught. I got the next set. day. The next day, you explain the story. Bro, the next day I got pulled in, and the teacher's like, "So why did you and Liam jump the gate?" And I said, "Mr. Train, which is our or prin- is it principal? He's a deputy principal. Oh, deputy principal, same thing. Yeah, he was because they, they used to lock the toilets and you couldn't go, hmm. and like you'd have to go see the deputy principal, but they weren't even there half the time, or you'd have to wait forty minutes just to see him. So I just said that. I said I had to chuck the ship, bro. You lock the gates, what do you expect me to do? I'm not gonna come crying to go to the toilet. But what did the principal say about He's like, then why do you take Liam with you? I said, bro, I didn't want to do it myself, I'm scared. He's like, he's like I wanted someone to come with me because I was bored or something. Yeah. And then he's like, so Liam didn't egg you on? I was like, bro, Liam is the dumbest motherfucker. He would do anything I say. And then he looked at me, and he's like, he is easily manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was crack up because he just believed it. Do you know how you can look at your student portal online back in school? Yeah. I looked at my student portal and um, I had four negative incidents and zero positive incidents. <laughs> and I had like two tech um, incidents and I had. Like, oh, yeah, that's when they go through your browser history. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I did at the time. I went home and I looked at Pornhub. I don't know if that will be sensitive on YouTube. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The PH. <laughs> I went home and did it on my on my home Wi-Fi, and it worked. And I went to school, and a few like a week later, I went back home and I had all the porno websites were like censored, and I couldn't access them anymore. And I got my Chromebook taken off me because I didn't <laughs> pay for it. Oh uh, yeah. Do you know how you can like um like you had a free option. I had a free option, and they gave me a, another Chromebook back, but all the sites were like blocked on it, and I could only access certain websites. You know what was fucked. I remember once we were staying over time. Mm. I mean, it was a bit late. I, was, I think I was in detention or something. Yeah. And there was this guy watching Peppa Pig mm. on his laptop. And the teacher just turned on the webcam and looked at him. And it was the guy's little sister. So like, they had the they had the option to look at your webcam. What was it? Was like called, wasn't it called Hypera? It was something? Hapara. Sapara, yeah. Hapara, bro. They could look through that. It's like. It's how they found out that I was the guy that made the video about the school. <laughs> That's like, also it's funny because I was in English class one time and I was watching YouTube, I was using a U12's um, like Oh yeah, audio. the YouTube. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the teacher texted me on the little, the, the Safara shit on the left side, a little chat box came up and he goes, do your work Liam, I know you're watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crack up though? And then he like, he crossed the fucking tab out. You um, know what I did to get off that system though? I don't know how this worked. But I got I asked everyone I knew to log into my laptop <laughs> and then they signed out. 
but it fucked up the power because it was always red. And then the teacher like called me multiple times like, William, fix your power, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no fucking way. I don't know when you turn on my webcam when I'm at home. Because it happened to me before. I was at home and the webcam just turned on. And it was like, it was when I was like shirtless and shit. You hear it first, guys. You hear it first. <clears throat> you know what's fucked though? Mm. Remember that time we all got sent to that fucking Robin Thomas or some shit? Oh, down the road? The, was that for the um, alarm bell? Yeah, something like that, bro. It was a hot day, bro. Mm -hmm. We were sitting there for hours. Yeah, that was when they were doing. Oh, that was when was it? Yeah, oh, Rayan, Muhammad, Ray, Muhammad Rayan or someone Rayan had a knife in his bag or something. Yeah, you know it was crack. <laughs> like you know it was fucked up. Yeah. When we finished, yeah. we went. We went. Me and him. We went straight to the water fountain. Yeah. Oh yeah, me and not not Muhammad Rayan. Me and me. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah him and me. Bro, it was crack up because like there was like everyone was still around. Like yeah. half the cons didn't even leave. I, I full on like got. Okay, keep in mind, guys, this was a kid's water fountain. It was like. It was a kid's like water playground. Like, um. It wasn't even far away from everyone. Was. Nah, so it was, was like, there was like, what, 300 people looking at us? Yeah. And, yeah. bro, I was like, I'm pretty sure I was underage. I was like 16 or 17. I was, yeah, I was 16, I think, yeah. Bro, I just got in my undies. And Me like, too, I got in my undies. And we just like ran in the water I'm fountain. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure when I was running, my ding dong slipped out. <laughs> <laughs> You run around with your balls out, it's okay. <clears throat> but that was a fun time, man. I love that. I miss that time. I wonder if anyone gave a fuck. Okay, and this is another story about water. Um, William actually got into a car accident. Oh, that was... <laughs> can, we tell the, can we tell the story? Nah, not like Not the whole story. I got, I got, I got, uh, what is it? The restraining order. Okay, I, really, I got, really, really got hit by a car. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. Okay, that's, he got hit by a car. And this motherfucker was, he had a like gravel rash all over his body. This motherfucker, you were fucked up. Like, you, you, he was in bad condition. He had cuts, bruises. Bro, my whole arm was fucking purple. And his whole, like, he and my, was fucked up. My leg was purple. He was fucked up. Anyway. I couldn't even sleep, brother. I uh, broke and sleep. Anyway, the day after it happened, we went to Bondi Beach together. And he literally swam in the water. Bro, I didn't think it would be that bad, but it was fucking painful. And he said to me, he goes, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I was like, I'll get over it. I got over it, but the initial pain was fucking horrendous, bro. Yeah, I felt sorry for the guy. Oh. What other times have we had that, that have been very silly? Silly? Mm. Should we tell him about the, what we were talking about um, earlier? about the, um, We're trying to reenact the video. Or not reenact. Like, we're trying to make a video back. I think it was year 11, and it was really was a junkie. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh my god. So that yeah, carry on. we were in the middle of Parramatta, and um, I think it was a shopping center too, was it? Yeah, it was a shopping center, and then it was near the, um, the brothel. You know, like on the corner there? Oh yeah, 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 yeah the bus yeah, stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I was using William's phone on my phone, I don't remember. Pretty sure and, it was your phone. And, anyway, um, and William, I, I was filming from afar, and William would just like scream out in the middle of like, you just like, fuck. I'm fucking itchy, I fucking need some crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. It's funny because I used to be good at the doing the junkie voice. <laughs> this guy does not give two fucks, I, I tell you. He just doesn't care. I really do. He don't care. You can think whatever you want about me. It's your opinion. It's your opinion. Oh, how Shit's was that? Shit's actually pretty good. I, I, I still rate, got the suit. I rate this a... You know what? If I didn't feel like if I was not if I was hungry before coming here because I was like, a little bit hungry, I reckon that this was a seven point nine. Five point nine. Seven point nine. If I had a Pepsi Max, <laughs> this would have been a fucking ten out of ten. <laughs> Pepsi Max. Yeah, Pepsi Max or a ginger beer. Bro. Yeah. I give it an eight out of ten. Ooh. Eight out of ten. It'd be a ten out of ten if I had some oat milk as Ooh. the as the soup. <laughs> oat milk. Oak chocolate milk. Oh yeah, yeah. as the soup. Yeah, as the soup. As the soup, rough guys. It'll probably make <laughs> it taste like shit. But <laughs> okay, but I want to hear your thoughts um, on the new Barbie movie that we both haven't watched. <laughs> and oh, uh, yeah, chuck, chuck, chuck comments about the Barbie movie. <laughs> yeah, chuck some comments about the Barbie movie. What's your opinion on like why? Give me your opinion on the cinemas and why. Why it's overrated. <laughs> why it's overrated. Yeah. 
Tell me why fucking that's a good. I want to hear why Mega Mind is a better movie. You know what? I watched Mega Mind in the fucking cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This was a true story. I watched Mega Mind in the cinemas when it first came out. Back in 09? Back in 09. Uh, <laughs> I think it was 2011. 2011? Probably. Yeah. But Mega Mind was the shit back then, I tell you. Mega Mind. And you know, I watched Turbo. Remember the Turbo the Snail movie? I love. Uh, actually, yeah. no. Turbo the Snail movie, bro. That's a good yeah. movie. You know, you got the fat guy with the racing snail. Yeah. That's Snoop Dogg, was Snoop Dogg in the movie? I think he was one of the snails. I don't, I don't remember. But he would have been the slowest snail because that motherfucker like smoked weed all day. Nah, bro. We turbocharges him, bro. You know, sometimes when I see a snail on the road, I pick it up and move it five feet so I save it five <laughs> business days. You feel me? Bro, you know what's the most fucked up thing I did? Uh, in when After you left high school, I ditched the class, photography for like an hour and a half, just so I can go sit down with a bee for an hour and a half and watch it fucking do whatever the fuck it was doing. Yeah. I think Matthew was truant to too. He just started watching me fucking play with the bee. Because the bee was dying. Can we talk about Matthew Cerides for a minute? I think we can. Shout out to Matthew Cerides. Uh, I hope you watch this the whole video. Because I feel like this video is going to be at least like 40 minutes long. Because we've got a 10 minute thing from before. Um, Matthew claims to have a small pee pee. That's cap, bro. Yeah, it's cap. We both know it's cap. We see. It's in high school, he always wore like the long baggy shirt, shirts. Not the pants. Like, Fuck it. <laughs> the, long, the long pants. He always wore the big long and pants. And you know, one time we were at, um, we were doing a gardening job for Simeon's auntie. And Matthew came in these grey sweater, um, grey sweat, you know, this grey sweatpants. Oh, yeah. And I remember once, you could just fuck it, you could see bro, his dick. He wasn't even a wreck, bro. It was like halfway through his fight, a bit more. And that was soft. Oh, I don't know. It was like it here. Was a... It was like here, wasn't it? No. No? No, it was a bit more up. A bit more like here? Yeah, it's on the line, bro. But he was, he was, he's got some dick. Bro, it was like bigger than this hand. Probably it's from, from here. like here, here on soft. I know, bro. Maybe I'm overselling it, but it's, it's roughly around that size. Yeah, and remember the one time he said that it was on hard, it was seven inches? I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Um, I hope we don't get copyright from the music in the background. Bro, it's fucking drum beats, bro. No, it's like, it's Sway Lee. Yeah. I'm gonna tie, I've never hurt nobody. Wait, you look sexy, come on. No, I don't. Come I'm, on now. I look like I just like, got up from drinking alcohol or something. That's Cap. It's Cap, guys, it's Cap. The only thing that this guy, oh, can we tell the story about how Mitchell's birthday party with the alcohol? You can tell him because you experienced it. Bro, and, then I'll, and then I'll explain from a third person. The um, third person you, perspective? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's, it's the first time I ever drank alcohol. First time. And fucking, this guy, he gave me some custom homemade mix, bro. It was like, it was mixed with, oh, fuck it was like it. moonshine. It was mixed with fucking, Godzilla's dick, bro. bro I swear. It was like, Every alcohol apparently you had. It was like mixed with Jack Daniels vodka. Uh, bro, it was mixed with like a hundred. It was mixed bro. with bullcum. I swear to God. <laughs> anyway, bro, it was. It came in shots too. By the way, it was a shot. Bro, I drank. I gulped it. I was, like, I was like, I was like, yeah, it's not that bad. Fucking my body rejected the fuck out of it. it just, as soon as it he just, swallowed it, he went. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I stood there for like what five seconds. I was like, it wasn't even five. Seconds. Yeah, it was like two two seconds from me. I was like, it's not too bad. The moment I finished saying that. <laughs> Ugh, fucking everywhere. And it was funny because it wasn't just him that was around, it was the whole family. It was his whole family, bro. And his whole family was like, pussy, pussy. Yeah, it, it was funny. It was funny. It's fucking crap that family. Yeah. And then Mitchell's sister knocked down his grandma at the fucking birthday party. Did you, did you hear about that? Oh, yeah, for some reason his fucking sister pushed his grandma. Or something. Yeah, or some shit. That was, that was, uh... that was interesting. Oh, fuck, we've had some times together, brother. I tell you. One time, one time we almost died together. Um, what was that? Mitchell's car. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, that was fucking scary. I tell you, that night was scary. Bro, Plus, Mitchell dogged us that night. Yes. He dogged us. Bro, the man dogged us. He dogged big us. Time, bro. He, he said that he was gonna drop us both home. Yeah, he said, "Oh, don't worry, guys. I'll drop you off at the station." 
You know what this motherfucker does? No, he said he would drop us home. No, he told me he was going to drop me off at the station. Bro, you know what he did, bro? He dumped us, like, in the middle of fucking nowhere. And keep in mind, guys, it was this like, was at, like, 11 o'clock at night. It was like 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, and it was pissing down. It was, it was like, pissing down, like, raining hard as fuck. And then... He didn't even drop us next to the station. No. <laughs> it, was like, it was, like, on the fucking main roads. Yeah. It was fucked, bro. And keep in mind, earlier that night, we, um... He was driving, we're at a T-section. Was it a T-section? Yeah, because it was up and then across. And well, it was raining and then he was turning right. And this motherfucker over-accelerated while turning right. And the car like spun out like this way. And then the, he was trying to book it and he was like fishtailing. And there was a pole on the left side. Yeah, almost smashed And he smashed fucking the hit the pole. pole on the left side. Bro, bro, that was a fucking idiot, bro. Like... You know what was funny? He was like, I'm going to turn off traction control, I'm great at drifting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he was in a Holden Commodore as well. Like, oh, it was a Holden Commodore. I can't remember. Yeah, it was a Holden Commodore. Um, and Holden Commodores are not great for drifting, uh, drifting a car. And, um, yeah, we almost died. That was a horrendous night. Plus it was raining, plus it was cold, and we just wanted to go home, so... That was bad. It was fucked, because I had to call my dad to drop us off at the station. Yeah. No. I don't think he picked... No, your dad picked you up from Penrith train station. What happened to you? I can't remember. I think I just caught the train home. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get dropped off the train or did you walk there? Um, I think I walked there. Yeah, you just said, oh, fuck, I'll walk. Yeah, I, I don't remember. This was... I don't even know how long ago. Probably like two years ago. Probably was more. Yeah, probably a bit more. Because we were still... I was still in high school. And you remember Halloween? <laughs> With Mitchell? When we drove around in his car terrorizing the kids when... <laughs> oh yeah, he would just yell at the kids. No, I would yell at the oh, kids. Oh yeah, you I would yell. Fucking come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, man's crack like that. Man won't do that anymore. Nah, uh, not anymore. I would now. <laughs> <sighs> when even is Halloween? October, right? Is it October Halloween? Yeah, the end of October. Mm. Yeah, but I tell you, that was a good, good run. Good times, bro. Good times. Too bad we have work now. Now we're slaves. Now we're slaves. Especially me, because I work for the government. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I, I work... This works construction. Bro, I, get, I swear I get shafted. What? I swear I get shafted with the pays. Mm. You ain't getting paid the full amount that you're supposed to be getting paid. Oh, my pay slip is at like 27, but after the calculations, it's 25. It's that tax. It's the tax no, no, that's before, that's before tax. Oh. But shout out to inflation, guys. Shout out to inflation. I love inflation, bro. That's crack up. I get taxed like $500 or $600 a fortnight. So shout out to my tax. Bro, all the operators. Shout, at out, my shout out to his dad's tax. <laughs> bro, all the operators at my company, they get like what? I think they get paid like tax like two or three, right? No, uh, it's bad, guys. You know, I was one time I was thinking about the FIFO life. You ever think about the FIFO life? What's that? It's where you go out into the gold mines. You know how they do like the construction work out there. Oh, the mine work. Yeah, the mine work. Fuck you that, know that bro. mine work is actually all right, but you have to get your tickets. I think you have to get a couple of tickets before you head out there. I think depending on the mine, you have to like stay there for months. You do, but you know what's good? They supply food out there. Yeah, they supply food, but you have like no social contact. <laughs> you have no social contact. Plus, you, you, the reason why you get so much money is because you also can't spend your money while you're there because you're in the middle of nowhere as well. So. That's another downside. Yeah, bro, Plus, there's no brothels out there either. There's no internet connection. There's no internet connection. There's no nothing out there. So, bro, you have to resort back to like the nineties, brother. You have to start drawing pictures of vaginas. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's a tough one. You know, one time, like when I was six, and they when Google. When Google kind of first came out, I remember coming home from school at prim like primary school. Bro, Google came out like ten years before. Uh, we anyway, were born. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was it was when I was like six or seven. That's definitely more than ten years. Uh, after anyway, before. I came home one time and my uncle had this the, a computer. He had a computer and I came walking in the door. My brother had like Simpson porn playing on the bus. Simpson porn. Yes. He was playing it while I came home from school, <laughs> and he was sitting in the lounge room watching it too. And anything to watch. Yeah, yeah. and it's an uncle. Uncles do strange things. God, do uncles do strange things? I guess so. Uh, uncles do strange especially things. Especially the ones without the children. Yeah, we don't talk about <laughs> that. 
We don't talk about that, guys. Are you sure we don't? No, we don't. <laughs> uh, but I think that about... Oh, that jump scared, that scared the shit out of me. That's five nights of Freddy's He finished his food. I still have the soup left, but I read that. What's this place called? Tenko Mori. Shout out to Tenko Mori. Tenko Mori. Is it Maori or Mori? I can't tell. Mori. Okay. Well, shout out to these guys. I think it's a Korean, um, Korean place. It's in the CBD. Um, it's international public style. Um, shout out to those guys, and um, I think this is the end of the. But don't forget Kevin Wright. Oh yeah, shout out to my boy Kevin Rudd. <laughs> he's actually, um, he's actually, he was actually supporting uh, Trump the other day. Um, Kevin Rudd was. Shout That's out. Actually. Yeah, he was. He was because he uh, last year he was actually very mad at Donald Trump. <laughs> now this year he's actually um, with Donald Trump. So shout out to Kevin Rudd though. Shout out to Kevin 07. You know, <laughs> shout out to the handball days, Kevin 07, 2007. Shout out to him. Um, that's about it, I think. You, you gonna say some final words or? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, my brother. Take care, guys. Um, and hopefully we can do more videos like this. What sure there's no audio. <laughs> I, I'll be mad. Oh wait. No, 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 it's good, it's good. Okay, guys. I don't think it's how it works. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it should work. Anyway, bye-bye.